So, uh, good afternoon, uh, Miss Park, and thank you for granting us the interview here in Simri Province uh, during the uh, APT JSO 10 event, the tenth of its kind in in Cambodia. So, Miss Park, um, you are one of the organizer and also you know the one who evaluate the student performance based on their presentation. So this morning you have uh, evaluated 12 of them and there will be a remaining six to go this afternoon. So um, to begin with, you know, my first question is that, um, like, uh, how do you find their performance so far, ma'am? So far, students have been very confident and Mm -hmm. I saw them enjoying all the competition and sharing ideas with their colleagues. And we found very creative ideas out of these performance and out of various types of uh, research questions. And Mm -hmm. they came up with very creative solution scientifically and socially impactful to the society. Yes, altogether, there is a... 16 groups yeah. in, uh, in in these competitions so based on their their uh, pitching projects mm-hmm. and also their presentation and the, their innovative ideas that so we ele- evaluate on these mm-hmm. uh, the criteria yeah. and uh, they present the theoretical side of their finding and you know normally the judges they try to like uh, you know they try to question like oh is it practically possible in the yes. real world yes. so for students normally they they show uh, a lot of theory like that and is it the job of the judges to to you know to stop them you know where is it practically possible yes but, but the, the judges here asking about the not the practical use they just mm-hmm. asking about the 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 example of the cases mm-hmm. yeah. that, that where they learn from the they ask for the reference links mm-hmm. that where they they can get these innovative ideas we want we would like to know their reference not their practice uh, pra- practically use yes I miss, but at the same time you know when you look at the group they are from you know many nations all together and they focus on well not really hard topic but not really easy topic also about you know climate issues and all all of those things like that so what is uh, the criteria the way you score mm-hmm. so do you score only about their content or do you look at their personality their not, not personality sorry but you know their body language their anecdotal story be, you know before the, the the and and do you score them individually or as a group oh. Uh, to answer your last question, we mm-hmm. score them, we evaluate them based on their teamwork, teamwork not individual. Yeah. Um, and I can share you a few uh, major evaluation criteria um, mm-hmm. for the audience. Uh, first of all, they have to define the research question uh, correctly. Like mm-hmm. they have to understand what the research question and what their um, topics are scientifically. And they will have to find a way to solve this issue Mm -hmm. so they will have to come up with uh, different various kinds of solutions creative solutions socially educationally and scientifically and they have to write it well to um, describe their idea to the audience so delivering is also important so uh, what we evaluate is the whole process not just one specific Mm -hmm. not just one specific um, feature we see so what we evaluate is the whole process from the beginning to our deliberation to the audience. So the idea has to be original or they can, you know, develop on any existing ideas before? Yes, maybe there are some of the, the existing ideas, there are some of the innovative ideas, but uh, mostly are the, the original innovations, they said. Mm-hmm. But uh, what makes up the largest you know, scoring uh, category, for um, example? Okay, since this event is... Um, uh, it's for the students that are talented in science, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, this is especially um, recreating students that are interested and talented in science. So we, what we expect from them is to solve the issues in the mm-hmm. real world with scientific knowledge. Mm-hmm. So what we expect uh, more from them is to find their own scientific methods to apply in real world uh, mm-hmm. issues so that they can um, grow up as a future scientist who can impact the world scientifically and more like solving a lot of problems in the world. Yes, I see, ma'am. And uh, overall, okay, like uh, what is the uh, the criteria for, for scoring them? You know, of course, uh, the first thing is the content. Yes. But do you score them based on their pronunciation, based on their body languages? 
oh. and uh, you know, yes. I mean, if they stop her or if they become nervous and they yeah. they freeze, yes. Do 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 you conduct their score when they freeze? No, not actually the the directly uh, conduct the score, but including all the presentation style. We ask for the presentation style and the appealing of the presentation, the interesting of the judge, yeah. uh, based on their uh, the speaking, the body language, and the all are the overall scoring. Sure, they are not adults yet, mm -hmm. <laughs> and they are not scientists yet, but mm -hmm. they are scientists to become. Mm -hmm. So we believe this opportunity provides them to overcome their own fears or mm -hmm. any yeah. any kind of misbehaviors in front of audience. Mm -hmm. So it is a great opportunity for them to practice. Mm -hmm. So what we expect from them is not perfection. It's about practicing, training. yeah, training yeah. and. I believe all this process will provide them a great foundation to become a scientist because scientists do not only research in their own lab, but they have to go outside to the world to, to explain, explain, to expose, yeah, yes. explain their own research and scientific knowledge and share it with the public. This is one of their major responsibilities, so they could learn uh, how to do it. And the other uh, important thing is that they have to learn how to collaborate with their peers, with their colleagues because these days science the scientists conduct their research not on their own but with their peers and colleagues mm -hmm. in a team so teamwork is really important for um, scientists this day so what we expect from them is to learn how to do to, the to work a in a team yeah. Yeah. yeah you know is it normal that you know students are nervous and you know when when they yes, are nervous, nervous like do you feel pity or or maybe you know you feel like okay this is what you're gonna do because this will build your confidence for the future yes this is the, the practice for the confidence of the future so some of them are feeling so nervous but mm -hmm. it's okay, it's that, okay. That's, uh, this is not for the judging for the F, F, for the the everything this is just for the practice so no need to be nervous that there are some of the just are they are are telling them uh, to their telling it to the students mm, yes, yes. yes this is not judging for the, the, the other events this is just for the practice for the future so don't be nervous no need to be nervous yes yes uh, ma'am and also like a uh, five minute do you think that you know is it a short time or a long time for them to present because i see that many many group cannot finish yeah. Yeah, under five minutes <laughs> yes uh, this is uh, just a practice so mm -hmm. that's why so within the five minutes they can present their main innovative points and innovative ideas this is just a practice so maybe the five minutes is not enough we understand but this is just a practice within the constraint times mm -hmm. how they can present so to make them feel you know challenging and yeah, to make them feel creative yes, at the same yes. time so in the previous evaluation for pre um, video taping task we we, um, we evaluated uh, one of the major uh, evaluation criteria was whether they cited uh, their references or not like uh, correctly okay. so we wanted to evaluate whether they were capable of using correct sources mm -hmm. not pseudoscience nor any, any oh, imagination yeah, no, no. no. Okay. and we are asking um, at the same time we are asking students how this practically could be implemented uh, in real world, if they have any, you know, real case of a company or of any uh, ventures, ventures or um, any any cases. Mm -hmm. So some of the students answers that Apple is doing these things these days, and you know some some mm -hmm. other companies are doing things. But sometimes we find it a little hard to <laughs> yep, yep. yeah so we need to fact check that. yes yeah, yes yeah, we, we need, to, need to do the fact checks and yes. we are considering whether it's uh, the real implication or not as a as judges yes miss but at the same time you know we try to evaluate them I, I suppose uh, through the same criteria mm -hmm. but you know even though the topic are similar mm -hmm. but they are not the same mm -hmm. so how do you define the winner if the topic is not the same but topics have this big idea 
although it seems different, but it has big ideas uh, as we have to tackle the issues regarding climate change. And these issues are related to our real world problems. And these issues has to include scientific solutions at the same time. So it's not that different. So the basic idea of all this process is about how to use scientific knowledge, how we apply it in our um, daily life solutions. So that's the basic same idea. So uh, a little difference in their um, topics doesn't matter that much. And my last question also. Um, so the, the, the event is similar to the previous one and also the, 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 the one before that, you know, the format of the event, the, the GSO9, the GSO8. APTJ. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Due to COVID-19 pandemic, uh -huh. it has been five years since we had last APTJ, oh, so the 10th. Okay. But under the umbrella of ACGS, Asian Poetry <laughs> Center for the Gifted in Science, which was established in South Korea, uh -huh. uh, is actually in Korea, uh, we hold uh, annual winter camp in Korea too. So mm. last year, uh, in five years, we, uh, South Korea, hosted a student camp and teacher workshop in Korea. Uh, but the format was somewhat similar, mm -hmm. uh, but it was a little more academic back in mm -hmm. Korea because we do our yeah, best yeah. to develop our uh, educational program yeah. and we are preparing for the next one in Korea uh, this December. So I'm very so excited to The same student will go to Korea? No. Oh, oh different student. Okay, okay. Yes, we will ask. Uh, the board of directors uh, officers mm -hmm. from every country to select students their national delegation mm -hmm. uh, who could come join us in korea in mm. december it's actually second time for me to visit cambodia in ah, 15 years 15 years <laughs> yes oh, wow. when i was in early 20s i mm -hmm. visited uh, cambodia for a conference mm -hmm. and it's been a second time and it's my fir very first time working with the ministry and officers and volunteers in Cambodia. I've been very, very impressed and touched mm -hmm. by all of their hard work and enthusiastic participation in this whole event. And they have been very flexible and very helpful for every step of uh, preparation. So, and their enthusiastic participation and their heart, mm -hmm. we can see, uh, has uh, made whole this event beautiful and very, very helpful for all the students. So I thank all the yeah. Cambodians who participated in this whole process and all Cambodians who welcomed us, <laughs> <laughs> welcomed 12 countries to join here in Cambodia. Thank you so much for yes, that. Thank you so much, Ms. Park. Thank you.